my favorite moment is they tell me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and eat well and go grow strong. Maybe one day they will see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. And the way she sets, they'll see how beautiful I am. It makes me have goosebumps every time. I got to sing that with Kentucky Opera Educational Outreach. And we sang this for elementary school kids, middle school kids. I mean, really, I love the kids, but they're, you know, some of them are rowdy. They're like unruly. They don't want to be in the cafeteria and they're sick and tired of opera singers yelling spirituals at them at seven in the morning, eight in the morning. But every time I sang that line, those kids were paying attention. And I think that means something because of what does it mean? It meant something when James Brown came out and say, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. And it meant something when people started to say black is beautiful because that is, it's a shame that that's resistance, but it is. Because so many narratives have said that we're not beautiful, that we're abject, that we're animals, that we are. And the fact that you end that, you set that, that heart-wrenching text by Langston Hughes and it's just on a sustained chord and the, it's sort of at the, at the will of the singer, how long they sing that and how they shape it. for us to be able to practice saying how beautiful we are because we need to practice saying that so there's something just beautifully spiritual and and affirming about that every time i sing that for those kids i felt like i did something that contributed <laughs> that could be doing some good it wasn't just singing something pretty but that it was doing some legitimate good for these black and brown kids that i got to sing this to so yeah that's what that piece it comes to mind and i think about Marvin Bonds. this music is for us Thank you.